Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for my Sagittarius. You can have Saggy somewhere in your chart. Um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node. Or you could be cross-watching for a Sag, okay? All right. Saggy, Saggy. So before, when I was preparing for this read... Um, one of my neighbors pulled up and they were blasting the song, um, what's it called? It's from Adele. It's called Hello, okay? I'm not gonna sing it. I'm not gonna sing it, okay? I have channeled this song in the past, but my neighbor pulling up while I'm meditating and for you guys, yeah, this is a confirmation for some of you. So, um, let's just see what it says, okay? So the song goes, let me see. She starts off by saying, hello, it's me, okay? I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to meet, to go over everything. They say that it time, it's time, but they say that time's supposed to heal, but I ain't done much healing. And then it says, hello, can you hear me? I'm in California dreaming about who we used to be when we were young and free. I, I have forgotten how it felt before and the world fell at our feet okay listen there's someone here from your past that definitely wants to come towards you and talk to you or talk things out to you this is someone who hasn't healed is what i'm getting here i could be talking to someone who has healed saggy which is probably you okay um you guys could live in different states because someone here she says i'm in california dreaming so someone could live in california you could live in california or this other person lives in california place it where it needs to go or it doesn't have to be california at all you could live in michigan and someone else lives in florida it could be anything like that okay um and then she continues to say there's such a difference between us and i'm and a million miles so this is what i'm saying so you guys could be two different types of people or I don't know. I'm also getting like this could be someone from your past life. This could be a past life connection and someone's been waiting to meet you in this life again. It's also what I'm getting. Okay. Um, we have hello from the other side. I'm also getting like this could be a pass on like this could go deeper. Okay. So this could be like a passed on like ancestor. Okay. Or relative that before they left they realized like they didn't treat you the best and now they want to like make up for that in the spiritual by being your new guide or something that could be for somebody not for everyone okay um i don't know that's that's definitely not for everyone okay and then she says hello how are you it's so typical of me to talk about myself i'm sorry i hope that you're well so this could be someone who was like, I don't know, a narcissistic passed over loved one that knows th uh, that they were very self-centered or something. This is for, I don't know why I'm channeling this. Or it could be like, this is an ex or something that wants to come back, okay, that you were dating in your younger years. You could be someone who's older, okay? For instance, um, you could have dated this person in high school and now you're in your 20s and someone, this is your ex that wants to come back or you're dating in your early 20s or something and this person and you're now in your 30s or 40s and this person wants to come back and reconnect with you or something okay and explain everything to you about like why the separation happened or why they decided to I don't know I don't know what the hell is going on um and then it says she keeps going and then she says did you ever make it out of that town where nothing ever happened? Okay, so you both could be from a small town or this is someone back from your hometown that you know, okay? It says, it's no secret that both of us are running out of time. So there's something about time is of the essence when it comes to some sort of connection here. Okay, this could be a karmic connection or it could be a good connection. We're gonna find out when we flip out these cards. It says, so hello from the other side. I must have called a thousand times to tell you I'm sorry for everything I've done and that when I call, you never seem to be home. So this is someone you may not, you could be avoiding uh, communication with or you have blocked them. Okay, this person really wants to get in contact with you. All right, they really wanna clear up some sort of confusion is what I'm getting or I don't know. Or this is someone who's going through karma and they feel like if they talk to you and get your forgiveness that they will redeem, redeem their soul in some way is what I'm getting. I'm also getting like this is someone who's going through a lot of highs and lows or you could be experiencing a lot of highs and lows when it comes to your emotions. Bosh! Baba. Sorry, my cat is 
scratching up something over there and it's annoying <laughs> okay what else okay so maybe this person was annoying to you maybe this person was annoying to you and they're going to continue to annoy you i don't know or they don't like that they can't get on your nerves anymore or or this is someone who used to like trigger you and they they're they're upset because now that you block them energetically and physically that they they're they could be losing the goddamn mind i'm also getting she says but it doesn't matter it clearly it did it, it clearly doesn't tear you apart anymore so i feel like yeah you don't you this person realizes they no longer have an effect on you and this is driving them mad someone here could have a lot of control issues is what i'm getting okay also i woke up this morning and i have a big ass uh pimple on my third eye here so um you guys could be going through another third eye awakening is what i'm getting or this could be you guys could be experiencing um some ascension symptoms if you're going through a lot of ups and lows and highs is what i'm getting you guys could be going through ascension another ascension another awakening okay your third eye definitely could be um I don't know why I want to say the word elevating. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? What else do my Sages need to hear right now? Okay, we got this learn or teach card that always comes out for y'all. Okay, you need, you need to be positive about the changes that are going to be happening in your life because it's supposed to help you grow and expand. Okay, I'm also getting this person from your ex that want, or this person, what am I saying? This could, this past person who wants to come back and talk to you, okay? This is someone who um, was here to teach you a lesson or something to help you grow. Like if you not meeting this person or you not experiencing the situation that you went through with this person, then it would you wouldn't have learned some sort of lesson here, right? Because it, it caused you to grow in a positive way in some aspect through some sort of painful situation is what I'm getting. It says the need for control, obsession with the power struggle. There's someone here that is obsessed with you and they're upset that they don't have power over you as well as what I'm getting here, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I'm also getting something about like spiritual harassment. So, so if this is someone who's already living, still living. Um, this person could be spiritually harassing you is also what I'm getting. Maybe that's why you, maybe you feel this. Maybe you've been seeing this person in your dreams um, and it could be irritating the shit out of you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? Or you could be feeling like someone is astral traveling um, in your living space. So like, say you're just chilling alone in your house or in your room and you feel like a presence standing there and it feels familiar or you're smelling someone's perfume or some sort of something okay this this could be this person holy spirit holy angels or you just intuitively know like oh it's i think it's that person like listen to your intuition okay tell me more what else do they need to know spirit These both came out. Okay. So something about your family. This definitely could be somebody from your family. Okay. Or something about your home is significant. Like someone might come to your home here. Something about the past. Somebody wants to come in and explain to you or say sorry about something that happened in the past between y'all. This yeah family member or ex this this ex is someone that you lived with before is what i'm getting or they have met your family i'm also getting like when if this person does reach out to you and you decide to communicate with them make sure you don't tell them like what is going on with your life or what who you're involved with because i feel like someone wants to know who you're involved with or someone feels like you're with someone else or I don't know what this is. It's annoying. Yeah, someone wants to come in and work together with you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do my Sagis need to know? Who's involved in this situation? Something about your faith or your spirituality is significant. And I feel like this is someone who also wants to come back and they want they need your help with something. Okay? But yet, at the same time, they have control issues. Like, this is someone that needs to work that out first. You could be dealing with an Aquarius.
you're going to discover something new about this person or this person's this person has discovered something new about you okay we have something about your willpower is significant we got an aries you could be dealing with an aries you have aries somewhere in your chart this person wants to know if you think about them okay I'm also getting like whoever this person is this is someone that always wanted to do something their way this could have been something someone who was very bossy okay tell me more we have the extraordinary power of prayer some of y'all are going to be called to control this situation like the power is in your hands when it comes to this person. You guys could be dealing with a Scorpio or you, or you have Scorpio somewhere in your chart. I also feel like you're something that you've been praying for is going to come true soon. Okay. Something that you felt like you didn't have control over. Okay. I feel like God, the divine is going to come through and help you. Well, who else is involved here? Thank you. You guys could be dealing with a Virgo, or you can have Virgo somewhere in your chart. I'm also getting like, there's somebody here that could be wondering how you believe the things that you believe. Okay? Or there's someone's wondering how you healed yourself or how you were able to grow and expand without them or or how you got the way how how you got to where you've gotten to with with this willpower of yours like your answer could be like uh my willpower and prayer i don't know something like that okay and then we have libra you could be dealing with a libra or someone who has libra somewhere in their chart someone wants to work together with you you're going to be met with a decision when it comes to this person. But someone someone here is going to get their karma. We got Sag. Here you are. We got Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Another Sagittarius. Okay. There's something here that you, you need to show the world. Or there's some sort of information that needs to get out into the world. That Some sort of knowledge that you know. Okay. I'm also getting like someone views you as someone who's unruly, okay? Or they don't like how free you are. Like someone wants to come in and they feel like they need to take control over you and your life. I don't know. I'm annoyed. I feel like I'm getting the energy like you need to, yeah. I feel like you, I'm getting the energy like you need to stand your ground when it comes to this person. Because, like, I feel like, Sag, you're on the brink of something really beautiful. And someone may want to, like, tempt you before you get there. This cat. Bosh. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Yeah, okay, you see how I keep calling out this, ca this cat? I was going to say this car. Something about Uber. Maybe you're calling a car. Maybe Lyft. I don't know. Something like that. Anyways. See how I'm calling this cat? I feel like someone could be like calling out for you. Like, um, so you can come to them. So this person could be chanting your name or something. Or you could be hearing someone say your name. Yeah, dude, before I even, sorry, before I even, we got peace and stand your ground. You need to stand your ground in order to um, keep your peace of mind. Because someone wants to come in and uh, disturb that is what I'm getting. Someone we have base chakra. We got fulfillment of wishes, number nine. Something about the number 19 is significant. Maybe something about 2019. Maybe you haven't spoken to this person since 2019. Something significant happened in 2019. Okay. Yeah, someone here is jealous. We have deception and envy here. Okay. We got hope. Someone's someone's envious because you have some sort of fulfillment of wishes coming towards you and that you're shining brightly. I'm also getting this person doesn't like that you have hope and faith in your future. Um, 
without them because you're moving away from them with this positive movement forward someone does not like to see this okay because they feel like they don't have a part to play in it like this is someone who feels like someone feels upset because like it's not about them or something we have worry at the bottom of the deck this person's worried that you're gonna you're gonna live your a happy life without them okay it says i am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome what is this Oh, that's another thing. I'm sorry. I keep hearing the name Kelly and the name Michelle. So I needed to say that. Um, and now they're telling me em Emily. Okay. We have success in reverse over here. Okay. It says, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So there's someone here that is envious of your success. And they don't want you to have love in your life. This is someone, maybe this person doesn't have success in their life and they're upset about you having it. I don't know. That's what no one but that's what's going on. Spirit, tell me more. Ooh. Damn. Listen, this is someone who's put a lot of knives in your in your back with this uh, 10 of knives in reverse that came out. I definitely could be talking to a mother figure or a mother figure has done this to you or baby mama place it where it needs to go. Okay. Just know there's some sort of... I feel like you have taken these swords out your back. Whatever this pain that this person has put you through, you have healed yourself from this. And this person wants to come in and see if they can stab more in there. Some There's something about an energy of anxiety and worry here when it comes to you and your future. <laughs> Someone is worried about this. Tell me more. Yeah, somebody wants your... I don't know if you can see it. It says stop. Somebody here wants Someone doesn't want you to be grounded. We have base chakra here. This is what this is clarifying. Someone doesn't like that you're over here not worried about them. Someone doesn't like that you're not like upset about something. Just like the song says, like you it seems like it doesn't bother you anymore. Someone don't like that. Okay? Someone doesn't like that you're stable either. Okay, this could be someone who has Earth in their chart. This could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay. Or this is somebody's ex-husband. Place it where it needs to go. Yeah. Somebody wants to come in and offer you some sort of beginning here. I'm also getting like somebody wants to stop the divine from loving you. Okay. Or stop this love that's coming through to you. Some sort of new love that's going to be secure and stable. Is also how I'm reading this. Yeah, someone wants to stop your success. I know with this red light you can't even really see it. But let me see if I can do this. Is it working? No, it just keeps getting darker. <laughs> can't help. Success. I don't know if you can see it. It's okay. Tell me more. Why do we have fulfillment of wishes? <laughs> Listen, just know that any suffering that you're going through is going to be over. This came on again. Tell me more. Yeah. With this hermit card coming out, you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. Don't have to be. But I feel like you have done, you've done the inner work and you have looked... And you viewed what was causing you pain. I'm getting the word confronted it. You could have confronted it and healed it. <laughs> okay. Let me see. It's whatever this king of pentacles put you through is what I'm getting here. I'm also getting like somebody uh, was financially abusive here. Tell me more. Someone wants to put the end, put an end to your stability or you being single or you enjoying being single is what I'm getting. Yeah, we got this King of Cups. This is someone that could be emotionally um, watching you, jealous that you're happy and single by yourself. Yeah, expect some sort of message here or someone wants to come in and offer you something with this Page of Pentacles. Okay, we got uh, Eight of Wands in reverse. So I feel like this person wants to offer you this because they want to delay some sort of wishes 
or something you've been wanting, okay? You need a seven, seven of wands, this person. You need to block this person or defend yourself from this person because this person wants to come in and act like they want to build something with you. But this person's true intentions is to deceive you in some way. This person is going to come in wearing a mask. Someone could be born in 1997 or something about the year 1997 is significant. I'm also getting somebody here could be born uh, July 17th or July 8th. Or 1987. Yeah, this person... This person who's envious or deceptive, this person wants to put some sort of burdens on your back. Because they see you having some sort of victory and success. I'm also getting like... Someone gets an ego boost when you're in some sort of like burdened ass state. Tell me more. It's almost like their life depends on you being burdened. I don't know what that's about. Someone invested a lot of time and money to make you feel burdened. It could be this King of Cups here. What is this? Yeah, this person wants you to trust them. We got the word trust. Tell me more. Oh, this is someone you trusted in the past. This is someone in the past that was very, like, cold when they were with you, though. So, like, okay, listen. When the person sees you, they see money. And now they have emotions for you. But in the past, when you were dealing with them, they could have been very cold. Their heart could have been cold or blocked off from even trying to, like, invest in you. Okay? This is something that's over and done with. I'm also getting like... This person want, this person's strategically trying to find a way to end something for this king, this queen of wands. Oh, I almost said king. This queen of wands here. So I could be talking to someone who's very spiritual. Okay, someone wants to end something. They're trying to find a way to do this strategically. Okay, someone doesn't like to hear good news about you. It makes this person heartbroken. Okay, this is someone who hasn't healed over you yet. This is someone you have definitely turned your back away from them. Listen, this could be family, love, or friend, place it where it needs to go. Yeah, you moved on from karma waters from this person. I'm also getting this person, if this is a romantic relationship, this is someone who had multiple partners while you were with them. Like, this person could have cheated on you or whatever. Why do we have... Hope here. I'm also getting this person could have a, a young kid that you're going to find out about. Yeah, you've been holding back from this person. Oof. You've been holding back from this person. We have the Five of Swords here with the Three of Cups. So this person also doesn't like to hear when you have some sort of achievements or when you're happy or there's something for you to celebrate. I'm also getting like this person's intention to come reunite with you is there's something up with it. Just know that you're divinely protected. Okay, we have the higher font at the bottom of the deck. I'm also getting like someone's trying to find a way to use religion to make you bow down to them. Okay, or try to put rules on you rules or try to use um an institution i don't know what this is an institution to do this someone could even try to involve the law that's not for all you though yeah someone wants to come in and apologize to you i'm also getting like this is someone who's going to come in and try to use religion like i said before to try to make you feel like you could trust them is also what i'm getting this person could be someone who's a manipulator I'm also getting like someone here manipulates money or there's two different types of energies here like you're someone who's hopeful about your future and that's why you're able to manifest things in your life positive things in your life and someone else is a, a, a miser or something like this is someone who feels like they're gonna lose everything and they hold back money what do we have uh oh, for Yeah, someone doesn't want you to move on to your Ten of Pentacles here. Someone doesn't want you to have like a loving family. Someone doesn't want you to have some sort of level of success. They don't want you to come. They don't want you to be victorious in some way. 
is what I'm getting here. But you're moving towards it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You could have been going through some sort of sleepless nights, but I don't feel like you're dealing with that anymore. Or you're not worried or up at night thinking about some sort of relationship or what happened with this. Okay, or you, you could not even be worried about your stability. I'm also getting if you're worried about that now, you don't need to be. Okay. I'm also getting like, you could have been worried about like, where where's your next paycheck going to come from? That's for some of you. Okay, you don't need to worry about that. Just remember to prayer. Remember to pray because you're going to, there's a lot of power in prayer. Okay, closed mouths don't get fed. Yeah, look. I feel like after you healed from this person, you now understand that you need to create boundaries from this individual. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or you could be dealing with a Cancer. Don't have to be. Okay. Okay, this is random. Sorry, my face was making all faces. Uh, all types of faces. Um... Somebody reported someone. Someone made a false report on somebody here. That was their way to try to block someone's forward movement with the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, someone here was trying to get away with something or trying to be deceitful in some way. Someone here, this is giving me like, uh, something about someone getting arrested. Someone's going to have to surrender. Yeah, this devil here was trying to get away with something. Or someone could have Capricorn in their chart. Don't have to be. I'm also getting like someone was so obsessive on trying to steal something from you. Okay, or get away with something. Okay, it's very important for you to cleanse yourself from this person or from what's going on here. We got caution, cleanse, and anxiety. Someone here definitely could be sending you the energy of fear. Or this person wants you to feel what they feel. Someone here is getting really desperate here. And they're refusing to take the cup from the divine. I'm also getting, since you decided to listen and you surrender to God or the universe, place where it needs to go, okay? Um, you're about to, confirmation, you're about to see something really happy happen in your life, okay? Or you're going to get some sort of success. And someone else isn't. I got to end this soon. I don't want to make this too long. Don't get mad at me. I'm trying to try something new to where I don't get drained. <laughs> from doing such long reads. Tell me more. Who is this person? Let's find out who this deceptive, envious person is. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who is this deceptive, envious person? This deceptive, envious person could be a Gemini. Or they could have Gemini somewhere in their chart. Or they could be a Taurus, Gemini, place that where it needs to go. Okay. You guys could be seeing a lot of rabbits. Okay. Something, you're about to get, you're about to run into something um, like a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow is what I'm getting here because of your obedience or because you knew you needed to change something or something like that is significant what else do I need to know spirit regarding this situation yeah something about somebody's lies are going to be exposed here you've got this lies that is looking at me somebody here is lying or someone's going to come in and continue to lie to you if you already know this person's a liar okay Yeah, somebody's dark secrets here are about to be revealed. Somebody, um, somebody's secrets of trying to like put an end to something or to you or um, the, the dark secrets of a death or how a death occurred could be revealed soon. It could have happened out of jealousy or envy or whatever. Okay, someone here is a gosh dang hater. I'm also getting like if you if you thought you had any like... Um, spells or whatever on you just know that they're breaking at this time okay this hater is real a real hater who the hell is this hater i think it's so gemini who else is this hater this person don't like that you um 
this person here don't like that you're about to meet a twin flame. This could be a Virgo. Another one of your haters. Okay. Archangel Michael is definitely going to be protecting this twin flame union that's coming through. Yeah. You could be meeting a new person. This twin flame at nighttime. Okay. I'm also getting like, be careful when you're out at night alone. Someone's going to call you and tell you that they want you back. And they want a new romantic beginning with you. This person could, this is someone who could be calling you at night being like, hello. <laughs> tell me more. Yeah, if this person invites you to meet up somewhere, don't go. This person wants to just come back to like blackmail you with something or maybe they're going to come and tell you that they were being blackmailed to not talk to you in the past or to do something file or deceptive to you and that's why they want to come and explain something about a car accident possibly. Okay. What was I saying? Closed mouths don't get fed. Someone here is going to confess or reveal something is what I'm getting here. Okay. They could be, they could come in and apologize for not being responsible in the past or for not taking care of something that they should have, maybe not taking care of their kids if you guys have kids, okay? Someone here could be very scared to tell you, okay? Someone definitely here is scared because of what information they're getting when they're getting readings off of you. Maybe they know that you, you're gonna, you're, you're destined to have some sort of new romantic relationship in your life or you're about to receive some sort of level of success that is destined for you and they're upset about this or they don't want this to happen. Yeah, they could be saying no to the good news that you are going to be receiving. Okay? Who is this? Getting readings on Sash. Whoever's getting readings on you is someone who's really greedy, okay? This person, this person doesn't come and pretend that they want to nurture and support you, okay? You could refer to this person as a pig, okay? I'm not going to even go there. Who is this new love that Sag is going to... I gotta end this. <laughs> Who's this new love that said we're gonna meet spirit? Wow, we have new love. You guys can expect new love coming into your life. It says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, okay? It says let your friends help. It says ask for and accept support from others. I feel like this shouldn't be from your friends. I feel like this should be from your spirit team. You should be asking, like, is this a good person? Is it not? We have romantic feelings at the bottom of the deck. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. And know that you do know that you do deserve love. Okay. So maybe you guys could be telling yourself like, oh, I don't deserve love. I'm going to be lonely all my life. Just know that you do deserve love. Okay. And this new person is coming through. I don't feel like this is your past person who has hurt you before. This is not who I'm referring to. Okay. Let me see, what else do I need to know? What else is going on here that my Saggies need to hear? Damn, I cannot make this up. Look at the two cards of the Baba deck. We have Archangel Michael and then we have Verge. Okay, it says about to reveal or confess. Okay. Someone's about to confess some shit. This person could call you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? What's going on here? Ooh. This person could call and tell you that they're single. If this is your ex, this person, I don't know. Tell me more, Spirit. What the hell is going on here? Okay, or I could be talking to a divine feminine here that's single. 
listen, there's somebody here that desires you, okay? And they're going to come in and tell you. But I feel like this could be just, like, sex-based. This person only wants to come in and reconnect to, like, be sexual with you, okay? Yeah. They might want to come in and block you from some sort of love that's coming through to you. I feel like this old person is someone who puts you through a roller coaster ride. This is someone that, like, um, there was a lot of highs and lows in that relationship. Okay, it wasn't very consistent. I feel like the love is very conditional. Okay. Yeah, this person could be sad and broken ever since you guys have left. Okay, this person feels crushed. They feel alone. They feel like they don't have power over you. And someone here could be gossiping about this. Or, or this person regrets gossiping about you, okay? Maybe when they broke up with you, they were hurt by it, but they didn't know how to, like, emotionally heal from it, and I still feel like they haven't. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, because they're still continuing to choose violence, okay? When it comes to the words they be putting next to your name. Why do we have this gossip? Who be gossiping? What's this gossip about, Spirit? Okay, we have this person sends you healing energy. So this person, I don't know what's going on. What's the bottom of this? It says this person is nice to your face and you actually like them. So there's somebody here that's around you that is also talking shit to this person about you. But this person acts like they're nice to you in your face. So you got a, you got a weird friend or someone. It says they copy your work and they take credit for it. So there's someone here that copies your work. They pretend that it's theirs. And then they gossip about you on top of it. But this is like someone who needs you to be around. This is someone who talks shit about what you do. But then they use what you, the work that you create in order to pass it off as their own. But they belittle you. But they, if you weren't around, then they wouldn't be able to create something here. Tell me more. I'm annoyed. Somebody here, your neighbor is sus. Someone's got a sus ass neighbor. Your neighbor is a hater. Tell me more. We have they can't keep their name out of your mouth. What was that? This is someone that talks a lot of shit about you. They be calling your name, calling you out your name is also what I'm getting. So this is what I'm getting with this healing energy. I feel like there's somebody here that like tries to pretend like they're spiritual or they're peaceful or they're positive. Like this is the type of like, I don't like the vibe. It's like the, this is like the type of, this is like a fake spiritualist is what I'm getting. This is a fake spiritualist. Tell me more. They don't have to be a spiritualist, but this is someone who could be like a fake Christian, like someone who could pretend like they're all about God, but at the same time, like they talk shit about everybody at church or something. It says they downplay your success to others to make themselves look better. What was I saying? They steal your work. I'm going to know what it says. They think that they're more superior than you. So somebody here thinks that they're more superior than you. This could be your ex. Or this is someone who's connected to your family. A place where it needs to go. It says this person is in your family. It says this hater has a mental health issue. So be the bigger person. So someone here got some real mental issues here going on. Okay. And this is. You also have a family member is what I feel like. Or a friend that is really doesn't like to see you in in a loving healthy balanced relationship okay they could be trying to break up relationships through gossip so that someone could come in and drastically cut you off i'm also getting you're going to find out the truth or someone's finally going to confess that they lied or spread some sort of rumor about you so that someone would not want to be interested in you with this with this confession card, this drastic, and this gossip here. Ooh. Okay. You guys could be seeing a lot of the angel number 911. I'm also getting, you're going to find out, like, someone was sleeping with your ex that's in your family. I don't know what type of Jerry Springer shit this is, but that's what's going on. 
Bosh. Someone wants to come in and beg for you back or pe beg for some sort of forgiveness. This person also wants to like offer something or get invite you to some sort of meeting. Do not do this. Someone's in some sort of legal trouble as well. I'm also getting something about someone about maps. So someone could be attracted to minors. I don't want to say the other word that starts with a P because I know YouTube is weird about that. Um, what the fuck is going on? What else do they need to know? I gotta speed this up. What else do they need to know? Okay. Something about a mature man is out here. A house. Or something ominous. Woman. Thoughts. Bad health. Someone you can find out that someone's gonna be in bad health. Somebody you haven't been talking to a long time. It could be somebody's father, don't have to be, or somebody's baby father, or someone's ex that you used to live with. Someone here is heavily thinking about you. Okay. Someone here could be very concerned about you. What, Bosh? Baba. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm also getting like, there was an older man judging you for something that you do for work. Okay. Someone here feels left out in the cold from you. I'm also getting like, someone's worried that... Dude, someone, somebody's going to go from, from rags to riches here. I don't know who this is. This could be happening through some sort of connection or some sort of relationship with somebody. I don't know what the hell this is. Someone's about to get high honor here. You're going to get some sort of message here soon. Okay. This is something that's destined on your path to help you grow and expand in some way. Okay. Whatever this message is, is definitely going to change a lot of things in your life. You could be ending up moving. Okay. This could be something that... Um, the divine has made a judgment on or a judgment call. I feel like Archangel Michael is definitely heavily involved in your situation. I'm also getting something about a divorce proceeding is also significant in here. Um, it doesn't have to be. This also could just be like spiritual court is ruling this into your favor. Um, let's see what else it says. Yeah, there's some sort of false person here that's going to be going to be receiving some sort of judgment or was behind some sort of bullshit between you and some sort of official man here or there's two men here that are false or one's false the other one's official <laughs> maybe that's the choice you're gonna have to make between two men here yeah a choice you have to make somebody might be getting married soon we got a wealthy man. We got a privileged lady. This is emperor and empress here. <sighs> this is something that's destined to happen. But there's a false person that still wants to... There's a, false, blah, blah, blah. there's a false person here that really wants to ruin some sort of connection that's coming, that's coming in for you, Saggy. Some of you are not even thinking about love, but it's coming out. Who is this false person spirit? What, who, who is this false person? This false person could be a friend, an acquaintance, or a co-worker that you may know. We got Leo at the bottom of the deck. This could be a Leo, or you could have Leo somewhere in your chart. This is someone that you're very distant from. Okay, you could be a Taurus, or you could have Taurus somewhere in your chart. Or there's also a Taurus and a Libra somewhere in here. Okay, that could be... Um, a false person here i'm also getting like there's someone here that's upset because someone admires you like maybe this whole reason is because someone admires you or someone likes you or sees you in a positive light and that's why someone is doing putting you through a lot of burdens bosh i love you but you gotta go <sighs> okay Uh, okay, I gotta end this. What else do they need to know? Yeah, listen. There's gonna be a group of people that are that are gonna stop someone from bullying one person. See how all these people are like, hey, stop it, da da da, and this dog's like, oh, me? Yeah, and this cat's all smiling like, please get off me. Okay. 
Someone here was definitely trying to make you feel alone and scared. And these two people were like, seek, they knew. See how this little dog in the back has his little hand up to his mouth, like shh, to this kitty cat. And this is kitty cat here is like worried for this rabbit. Something about rabbits. Okay. Anyway, um, somebody knew what kind of fucking stress or trauma or whatever they were doing to you. Somebody knows about this. They know. Someone knew. And I feel like this person is going to be getting in trouble. Confirmation. Tell me more. Just know that somebody's going to be getting in trouble soon, Sag. Okay. Someone here was trying to block you from uh, achieving something here or going after your dreams in some way. Because you see how, like, someone here was trying to cripple you. Okay? Or get you disbarred. Something, you, someone could be a lawyer. I don't know. See how this uh, this cat here has his little crutches and this pig, once again, confirmation. There's a pig here, okay, that's trying to convince this poor cat that like, oh, it's fine. It's, it's fine on this other side here, even though you're freaking injured and you can't ever do this. Like someone could have been telling you, you can't ever achieve your dreams. You can't ever go out here and play soccer, quote unquote, you know what I'm saying? But someone here is definitely like was trying to. This is a kill. This is a dream killer. You could have been dealing with a, a a dream killer. Look at this. See how this bunny here wants to play basketball. Someone could play sports here, but um, somebody here was trying to like stop your dreams from coming true. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I feel like I feel like the divine is stepping in, and whatever that person was wishing for you is going to happen to them. That's what it seems like. I don't know why I'm hearing like an eye for an eye. Okay. And this person might end up wanting to like self delete themselves, deactivate themselves. Confirmation by the Bosch. We got. It's because this person tried to make you feel like really scared, is what I'm getting. So you're going to receive help. Just know you're going to be receiving help. You're going to be. You're going to be helped in some way. I'm getting like divine inform divine. Ooh, I said, okay. Divine intervention is at play, but I was, it, my mouth said divine information. So some, some, sort, some sort of information is going to be relayed to the right person in order to help you. Someone's going to tell someone or reveal to another person that you, what type of uh, bullshit or gang stalking someone was putting you through is what it feels like. That's what, that's what it looked like. Okay, and someone else here is going to be jealous, confirmation, and upset because you're going to be getting what you've been asking for or what you've been praying for or what your dreams and your hopes and wishes are. You're going to receive some sort of blessing here. Someone, someone going to be, some greedy son of a bitch is going to be real upset about it, but that's not your problem, okay? Yeah, this could be someone who's really angry all the time or someone who's very pessimistic or grumpy. This is someone who really doesn't like to see other people have fun or enjoy themselves. Okay. I'm also getting something about a noise campaign. Somebody could have been putting you through that so that it was hard for you to concentrate on your work or what you do for work. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? How do these people be feeling about my Sag? Okay. Somebody in the past thought you were really silly. Okay. Or someone doesn't understand. Someone could be very confused by you. How you're still able to have a fucking smile on your face after what they put you through. Now someone here is really worried about what what's going to be happening to them next. I'm also getting like someone's very fascinated by you and your willpower. Tell me more. Okay. You need to know that you are fucking safe. And someone here is going to come in and, and save you. I'm also getting like someone's upset that Archangel Michael or your spirit team is protecting you god's protecting you they're furious about this someone's furious that god loves you okay yeah this person's really upset this is someone who could have damn this is someone's really upset that you're brave and they're also worried that you're gonna talk you're gonna tell the truth about this person or someone's worried that someone else is gonna tell you the truth about a situation about something in your life maybe even money that's owed to you property that's owned to you or about how someone passed over or the details of how someone was passed 
how someone got past whatever this communication is confirmation what it, whatever this communication is is something that's very serious okay okay i gotta end it god deals someone can speak two languages don't have to be holy spirit holy angels what kind of good things can they expect my saggies what kind of good things can I... Okay, see how that car is like, um, its engine is running? Okay, so I feel like uh, someone is going to be big mad. Or someone is already big mad, okay? About some form of vital information that's going to be coming to you, okay? Confirmation. What kind of good things can they expect? We have seven of Ariel. It says, you have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. So, listen. Just know everything that you've been working towards, okay? Everything that you've been wanting is coming through. We have King of Michael, okay? We have principled, rational, ambitious, respected. Respect is going to come to you, okay? Especially because of what has been happening it says wisdom and objectivity are important now stay in your uh, stay in your integrity a situation that calls for honest and open communication so someone's afraid that you won't speak some sort of truth here don't worry tell me more we have perspective i'm also getting if you're worried or scared about speaking some sort of truth or some sort of something that you know okay just know that archangel michael is going to help you okay or protect you if you feel like there's going to be some sort of backlash it says there's a better way pause for reflection and insight dare to be different so you could be afraid that people are going to look at you differently or whatever this is you need to know it's okay to be different tell me more something good is going to come out of this we have four of michael it says insights that come from quiet meditation and need to sleep or time off seek relief from stress okay so I feel like whatever's happening soon, like you're gonna be able to like basically just go to karma waters. Things are gonna, gonna get better, okay? Yeah, it says your worry is unnecessary. Your worry is unnecessary. It says focus on thoughts on the outcome you desire. It says release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels, okay? We got emperor. <laughs> Somebody emperor is coming to them. We got the emperor here. It says stability and efficiency. It says taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. I'm also getting whatever your plans have been that you've been working really hard on. They're going to come to fruition. Okay. This is going to be the end of your reading. I It didn't get shorter. <laughs> I tried my best. <laughs> I tried my best. Tell me more. What else do they need to hear? We're already at the hour. We're almost at the hour mark. What else do they need to hear? We have daily practice. Okay, it says, the more you practice your new skill, okay, the more comfortable and confident you become. So, maybe you guys have been wishing for a new job or something here, okay? It's going to come through. You might get intimidated by this new job, but you just need to practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect, okay? I'm also getting, if it's hard for you to communicate how you truly feel, you need to practice that, even by yourself. Tell me more. Or I feel like, never mind, let me just shut up. We got to keep going. It says, use the energy of any disappointments to fuel your creative project with authentic mo emotion. Jeez, I can't talk. Don't give up, please. If you've been feeling like giving up, you need to not. You are needed. You are appreciated. Okay? We also have pay attention to your dreams. It says, you are receiving divine guidance while you sleep. Even if you don't remember your dreams, the answers are in your unconscious mind where they appear in order to help you. Okay? So, remember how I said something about divine information? Some of you are going to receive some sort of divine information in your dreams. Okay? Some of you feel like giving up. I don't blame you. I'm fucking tired too. Listen, you won't be fine. You need to know prosperity is definitely coming into your freaking life. We got prosperity here. It says your actions have resulted in incoming abundance. Okay? So this is going to be the end of your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. It really does help out this channel. If you're interested in a personal reading, please check my description box below for Linda Likes Tarot at gmail.com. And until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.